Welcome back everyone to Small Tuber News. I'm your host Gator the Legend and I'm here to get you caught up on all the news and drama involving your favorite small tubers. The first story of the day is about up and coming small tuber GT content. GT content uploaded a video recently entitled Got Pulled Over. In this video he is street racing with his friends and it is clear in this video that there are other vehicles driving on the same road, possibly carrying children. I mean there's no way of knowing which is the scariest part. Somehow he was lucky enough to walk away with just a speeding ticket. I personally think this is all really fucked up. In the video you can tell by the way he talks about the situation that he doesn't care at all. Speed is a part of like over 90% of accidents. Laws are put in place for a reason people. All we can hope is that GT content wises up and changes their perspective on the situation. Or that they at least get locked up before something truly awful happens. Look guys I just want to get real with you for a moment here. This last story here, the last story I'm doing, I scripted out the whole entire thing. Uh, it took a lot of time, it took a lot of effort to make sure that I, I stayed unbiased because I didn't want to be biased. I, I personally on the inside was biased, but since I you know, report the news, I put my feelings to the side and I worked extra hard to make sure that I wasn't going to come across that way. Well then some things happened, some things were said uh, that has made me say, Fuck it, I'm just going to be biased. I'm going to be biased as a motherfucker. But I didn't want to throw away everything I did work hard on uh, when it comes to staying unbiased. So first, I'm going to pretend that none of that other stuff happened, and I'm going to read this the way I wrote it. And then at the end of that, I'm going to give you my true feelings and how I truly feel about all of this and let you know those other things that had happened. So stay tuned to the end of this story to see the rest of it. The last story today was originally brought to my attention by up and coming small tuber Lilith Nova. Lilith Nova reached out to me on Twitter and said this. Blur says, at the small YT army is a fake. We don't sub for sub at small YouTuber army. The real small YouTuber army is anti sub for sub. The guy who created hashtag small YouTuber army name is Blurs and he made a video about the theft of his brand name. Not going to lie, the first thought through my mind was, who the fuck is Blurs? Luckily for me, she linked me to the video she was mentioning. Someone created a fake YouTube army, and I need to know who's on my side and YouTube army. Who's with me, and who's on the side of the fake YouTube army. There's already a list. And when YouTube army becomes a multi-million, possibly billion dollar community movement, whoever's on the side, the fake YouTube army will be cut from YouTube army. After I watched this video, I went back to Twitter to find that Blurs himself, aka Small YouTube Army, had tweeted me. He basically explained to me the same thing Lilith Nova did, that this new person had created a Twitter and YouTube channel stealing his name and idea. He goes on to tell me how and when he originally created the idea, and how the whole purpose was to create a place for all of us small tubers to join together and truly support one another. He mentions in the video I showed you a clip from and many times in our DMs that this other small YouTuber army is pushing the sub for sub agenda and he in no way supports such a thing. See the thing about sub for sub is that on the surface it seems like a brilliant idea but in reality subscribers do not equal success. Watch time equals success. When people sub for sub, they don't actually watch each other's videos. That's why sometimes you might come across a channel with 10,000 or 20,000 subscribers that only average like 50 views a video if they're lucky. Sub for sub is a scam. This is something I completely agree with Blurs on. After all of this, I felt obligated to reach out to this so-called other small YouTuber army. I said to him that there is this YouTuber called Blurs claiming you stole your name, channel concept, everything from him. He has asked me to do a segment on it, on Small Tuber News. I told him I would, but that I wanted both sides of the story so I can let the viewers decide. So I'm reaching out to you so you can give your side of the story. Much to my amazement, this small YouTuber army, aka The Joker, told me that he was part of a Facebook group with Blurs a while back. And he told me that before he started down the path of becoming small YouTuber army, that he had actually talked with Blurs about it and that Blurs had gave him permission to do so. 
He also told me that he has never pushed the sub for sub agenda and that he is also very much against sub for sub. I brought this up to Blurs and he told me that he gave him permission to use the name on Twitter, but that was it. However, this other small YouTuber army sent me a snapshot of the conversation between him and Blurs. I also created a YouTube channel. I do pay you credit, but still give lots of credit to you, Blurs, as the original. You created a revolution for sure. Blurs responded, oh yeah, bro, we're just getting warmed up. Thanks for everything and own leadership. You got it, bro. All about making dreams come true. That's how we fight the system. I told Blurs that this other small YouTuber army was claiming he had permission and Blurs responded via video. So we had this Twitter conversation. I tried to do the positive thing about it. At the moment, I was caught off guard that someone could go and try to create a fake YouTube army. So it was kind of like, hey, yeah, great, thanks for supporting us, kind of. That's what it was like. Shortly after this, the other small YouTuber army, a.k.a. The Joker, went ahead and changed his Twitter name to Small YouTubers Alliance and his uh, YouTube channel to Creators Rebel Alliance. He then reached out to me to explain that he had changed everything. He explained that he had been part of the Small YouTuber Army Facebook for a long time and mentioned again that he only ever named his channel and Twitter page after Blurs' idea because Blurs gave him permission. He told me how confused he was that Blurs didn't reach out to him before slandering his name. He went on to tell me that he doesn't understand what Blurs wants, that he wouldn't have done it if, if he had not given him permission, but to come back and slander him as a fake or whatever, he doesn't know why Blurs would do that. If Blurs changed his mind and didn't want him to use the name anymore, all it would have taken was Blurs reaching out to him and telling him that. Look folks, I can make a two hour documentary over all the shit involved in this situation, but instead I'm going to sum up each side for you. Blurs feels betrayed. He feels as if he was taken advantage of and robbed. He has put a ton of time and work into this movement and he doesn't want it taken away from him. He's upset that the Joker made a Twitter and a YouTube channel using the same and similar name and only asked for per permission afterwards, leaving Blurs in a vulnerable position, making him feel as if he didn't really have a choice. The Joker was only ever trying to walk in the steps of Blurs as a sign of respect. It's clear that he supports and looks up to what Blurs has created. He says he reached out to Blurs and received permission, and once he got that, he went to work. With Blurs being someone that he respects, he claims that all Blurs would have had to do is ask him to change the names, and he would have. At the end of the day, you both seem like you have the same goal, to help small YouTubers. You both are doing great things separately to bring attention to small YouTubers all over the world. But you need to not bring each other down. You need to support each other. Together, you will be stronger than you would ever be alone. But that's just my two cents. Now that was all I planned on saying about the story. However, after I had finished scripting it and was, you know, getting ready to film the video the next day, I received a DM from Blur saying, I've been upset feeling that I'm not going to even watch Monday's video because I felt he somehow conned you with his lies. This is what pathological liars do. His entire life is just one giant con. From everything I have seen about all of this, the only pathological liar here is you, Blurs. We all just saw the DM where you said it was cool. He told you what he was doing, and you didn't even try to stop him at all. Also, after you questioned my integrity, I decided to do a little unplanned research. I figured out that you only started your so-called original idea, your small YouTuber army, like 10 months ago. And I reached out to you on Twitter to verify this by asking you how long ago you started it. But you refused to respond, and instead you blocked me. My guess is you knew what I was up to, didn't you? So I went to Twitter and I did some digging and guess what I found out? I found a Twitter called at small YouTuber army and their name is drumroll please small YouTuber army and they were posting on Twitter as far back as April 23rd 2015 correct me if I'm wrong here blurs but that's way more than 10 months my math isn't the best but I'm pretty sure it's way more than 10 fucking months but that wasn't enough for me. I wanted more. So I went to YouTube and I did some more digging. First I found a video posted July 13th, 2014. You heard that correct? July 13th, 2014 called Small YouTuber Army. Truth or Dare in Edmund Week. I ended up seeing several more from way before 10 months ago. The oldest video or post or anything I could find using small YouTuber army was a video from an up and coming small tuber named Shauna Ensing called Video Request and here's the, here's the kicker blurs, here's the kicker, I hope you're paying attention, hashtag small YouTuber army posted May 18th, 
2014. That's right, 518, May 18, 2014! Listen to me, Blurs. I at no point was on your side. I at no point believed anything that you had said to me. But I wanted to be a professional. I wanted to be fair. So I worked so very hard to be unbiased. The problem is that you, you were lying to me from the start. Small YouTuber army is not your original idea. Everything you say and do is built on a lie. See, small YouTuber army, it doesn't belong to any one person. That's the whole fucking point. You are not small YouTuber army. Neither is the Joker. We! We are small YouTuber army! It's an army! Ugh. You're... Ugh. 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 Honestly, folks, this is all my fault. And I, I want to send out a sincere apology to the Joker. You know, I asked for news and drama about small YouTubers for my show. Uh, before that, Blurs never said anything to you. I, I think this was all just Blurs creating something to be featured on my show. And now you've gone and changed your channel name, your pages names, everything. You know, you've been a professional through all of this. And I just want to say I'm sorry and thank you. Well, there you go, Blurs. You got your wish. You were featured on Small Tuber News. I hope it was worth it. You guys know I love to feature a musical with small YouTuber at the uh, over top of my outro, at the end of my small tuber news. But I, you know, through all this chaos, through all this fucking craziness, I had completely forgotten to put that in the script to figure out who I wanted to do, who I wanted to put out there and everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, my boy Xander, uh, that's Alex, that's his YouTube channel. I featured him before he was the first musical artist I featured on here. I'm going to go and find one of his songs later when I edit this. I'm going to put it over the top. I'll put, you know, put his name and his link and his Twitter handle all that shit over top of the outro so go and check him out go and check out the joker over there at rebel creators alliance or creator creator rebel alliance uh good guy seems like he's doing shit right check out all the other people i've checked out don't go check out blurs fuck you blurs yeah just fuck you dude fucking blocking people and shit just tell the truth just be fucking honest sorry 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 guys i'm getting off topic i want to get back on topic here i'm sorry i'm heated my my shit's up i'm and if you want to be featured on SmallTuber News, hit me up. Either in the comments below, on Twitter, at GatorTheLegend, or at SmallTuber News, or send me an email to GatorTheLegend at Yahoo.com, and you just may be mentioned on SmallTuber News. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and until next time, I've been GatorTheLegend, and this has been SmallTuber News.